Hi. Today we're going to talk about how SecRMM integrates with Microsoft Active Directory group policy. So let's get started and we're going to go into the standard Active Directory group policy management editor. And I've already went ahead and defined a group policy object so you don't have to sit on this video and watch me type a whole bunch of things. But just to cover some basics about this group policy object, we're going to filter and apply this group policy for a specific set of users. And for the WMI filter, we're only going to target the computers, the workstations and servers that have SecRMM installed. So just like any other group policy object, we're going to go into the editor. And if you go under the computer configuration, you could see that SecRMM also supports computer configuration. So if you want a baseline configuration to apply to all the machines, you can do that. But today we're going to tackle a much more interesting problem, which is to apply policies to a set of users or an individual user. Um, a lot of times you'll hear these are policies that follow the user. So no matter what machine the end user logs into, the removable media policy through SecRMM will, will follow with them. So let's take a look and see what we're doing. There's we're going in this particular demo we're going to highlight two features of SecRMM integrating with Active Directory. The first being group policy and the next one being if you look at the SecRMM properties here, you can see we've got these strange looking strings contained within the greater than and less than sign. These are the SecRMM Active Directory variables. So I'll just show you how to kind of work with that. You can go ahead and, and insert any kind of variable into these SecRMM properties and then at runtime um, the value will get replaced. So in the example I want to show you today, notice we have an Active Directory user attribute for department. So if we were to go in for the, a particular user underneath that group and we came in the Active Directory Users and Computers dialog. When I turn on Advanced Features, you'll get this extra tab. And I'll show you exactly what that, if I go under Properties for this particular user, you can see it, when I click the Advanced Features, I now have what's called the Attribute Editor. And if I scroll down here, you'll see in Department that I have the value Sales and Marketing. Also, in our demo today, we're going to look at the, um, the serial number. So you can see I've plugged in a serial number, and, I, and these you can add values to these any way you want. So A, B, C. See, I can add a second serial number. But in our example, we, only, we want this particular user to only be allowed to use this removable media device, this device with this particular serial number. Okay, so that's how um, you would marry attributes from the user into your removable media policy. So again, I've gone ahead and set up a particular user policy where for the sales and marketing group, they can only copy files from this share and the share um, is mapped here. So if I right mouse click, you can see that I've allowed read access to this share on this server. And that ties into this. We've also want the user to only be allowed to use the SecRMM safe copy program when writing files to removable media. And as I showed you earlier, we, we only want them to be allowed to use the serial number that's been assigned to them. They, can, they can't use any other removable media device. And I'm going to apply this policy to this group of users. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you real quick 
is if we map to this computer from this server, we'll connect to another machine. Let's see, we'll get the list of servers here. So the SecRMM management console can remote to other machines. And what I want to show you real quick is on this particular machine, we only have the computer configuration. So there's no user configurations. But when, we, when the group policy applies, we'll have a user configuration. So let's go ahead and we'll log into this other machine as a user from the sales and marketing department. Okay, so now the user's logged in. If I come back over to the server and I look at the configurations now, you can see there's a user configuration for the user that just logged into this machine. And if we take a look at the policy, it's the group policy that was defined on the server. So now let's just make sure that what we did was valid. So if I'm this user, you can see that I have a, uh, a drive, the Y drive, that may have got mapped through a login script. And let's come in here and I see I have a couple of files and maybe I'm gonna copy these files to the E drive. And the E drive is mounted on this machine as a removable media device. So we'll go ahead and copy them. And sure enough, you can see that access is denied. Well, why, why would access be denied? If you remember in the group policy, we said that we only want to, to allow that user to be able to use safe copy. So you can see, in fact, they got an authorization failed and the authorized programs was safe copy. Okay, so let's go ahead back. Let's clear the log. We'll bounce back over as the end user and now we'll use the program that they were assigned to use. Now that we're in safe copy, you can see we've re we really still can't get it any we can't get at any of the local drives or the network drives, we do in fact have a removable media disk. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the share that I'm allowed to get at. Now we can see that we've got access to the documents and if I want to copy them, I can copy them over. So if we come back here and we look in the event log, you could see that everything, everything's going correctly. You could see that the user came in and used this program and SecRMM has even told you that they mapped the drive. So you can see everything that they're doing inside of the log. There's the detailed uh, log that, that the user wrote the file. And lastly, if I unmount the drive, we'll see that the device went away and that the user closed the program and all of that has been tracked. So from a removable media standpoint, every motion they make while using removable media is getting tracked. So the highlight of this demo today was the fact that we're able to apply group policy to users and no matter what machine they log into in the domain, that policy will follow them. And also we wanted to talk about the power of using Active Directory attributes on the computer, on the computer object and on the user object. And before I let you go, I just wanted to point out one important um, feature of the Active Directory variables is the serial number. In a lot of situations, people that I talk to, they want to be able to 
lock a, a user down to only one removable media device. And this feature right here gives you that ability. So that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you very much and have a good day.